Hey there and thanks for joining us again. This time we leave our campsite in Gihai Flats. We stop off in Paddy's River Falls before overnighting in the town of Tumut and then heading back up into the high country to the Blue Waterholes. We've stopped off at Scammell's Spur Lookout and we've got some pretty spectacular views out across the mountain range. So we left Gihai Flats about 15 minutes ago and we've pretty much been driving steadily uphill. And then I'm guessing that we're going to head back down into Cancoban. We're down the mountains now and just traveling through this very lush valley. Lots of farmland, cows, etc. Making our way now to Paddy's Falls. We've just stopped off at the Paddy's River Falls. Hello, Paddy. Hey, Paddy. You can probably hear them, they're roaring. We're looking out over the devastation of the bushfires from the 2019-2020 bushfires. We're in the Kosciuszko National Park in Walgaloo country. Incredible lookout. And sad to see all that devastation. We've just stopped for lunch. We're at the Cooenbill Hut campground. There is one tent over there somewhere behind me. And we've driven, maybe like we're not even halfway, along the Long Plain Road on our way to the Blue Waterhole. So we need to keep heading up in that direction. But we've just stopped for lunch. And the Cooenbill Hut is just here behind me. So I'm going to go have a look at that. So this is part of the hut, obviously the kitchen, and this would have been used by the stockmen who came up here to graze their sheep and cattle. And you can actually get in the hut to look around. Fireplace, it's obviously been rebuilt since the 1800s. It's quite a bit of information here about it. On oh, a painting on the wall, wow. It's talking about the building of the hut. It's pretty. 
pretty cool. We're now on the road into the blue waterhole and it's been, I don't know, uh, almost 20 k's so far of dirt road, fairly corrugated, a lot of fun. And now we're kind of heading back up into the hills. So we've come along the long plain. Now we're climbing again and getting into a more of a bushy area. I know, we're really off-road now. It's quite steep heading down here. First gear. First gear, Nigel. Mm -hmm. Four-wheel drive, isn't it? I'll tell you, these water holes must be pretty freaking amazing. They better be. <laughs> well, the beach track. Well, you know. There's no beach or there's no fun of it. It's been a great drive. Awesome. Hey, so we're at the blue water holes. We haven't actually found the blue water holes yet, but we found this pretty awesome looking cave in the rock behind us here. I hope that's your good leg you're balancing on there, Nigel. Um, but it looks like the track goes down and we can hear the creek down there. So we're going to take a walk down and hopefully see some blue water water holes the other issue is there's quite a bit of cloud cover today so we've got to wait until the sun comes out from behind the cloud probably to see the water actually looking really blue anyway let's go for a walk So here's the blue water hole, not looking very blue today because unfortunately there is a cloud covering the sun. Bit of a pity there. Not sure if Nye's just going to go in for a dip today. And there's a pretty cool little cave here. Well, there's several caves up in this big rock here. That's like a cast. Oh, he's going in. How cold is it night? Oh, I think the sun might come out of the cloud. So sun is right just behind the edge of that cloud. Okay, so the sun's come out. I've come back to see this blue water hole. It's kind of not really that blue. It's more green. But anyway, this is the supposed blue water hole. Nigel having yet another river swim here in the blue water hole. This is probably the best vantage point to see. Well, the sun was out a couple of moments ago and we could see that it was actually kind of bluey green. I wouldn't call it blue, but there you go. And I'm walking back up and here is a bloody great hole. What the hell lives in that hole? I have to walk over it. Mm. Is it a wombat hole? Who knows? This is so cool. Uh, swimming through that when the sun was out. 
it's super cold and I think I'm, in some ways I'm probably um, blessed that I've got a gammy leg going through re rehab because I might not have been that inspired to take the plunge because it, it's something that I'm not sure the altitude here but it's um, for high it's it's cold <laughs> but um, invigorating yeah, it was pretty cool hang on there's, there's Kevin <laughs> good boy oh, this. joining us for this journey up into the high country we hope you've enjoyed this episode please give us a thumbs up and drop a comment down below don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join us next time as we head into the magnificent Warrumbungles National Park thanks for watching bye for now